All right, whenever you want to define a library file path name in SAS University Edition, it can be kind of problematic. I mean, if you're used to using the regular versions on maybe uh, a university computer or work computer, it might be a little bit different. Here, a typical command would be the libname statement here, followed by the libref, which is just the name of whatever you want to name your library. And then you have the file path of where you, that library is going to be stored or where your data files are going to be stored. And in my situation, I have a thumb drive, which is my G drive. So it's G followed by my folder name, which is SAS University Edition. And then I have a subfolder called My Folders. Now these can be named whatever you want, and you define your file path whatever you want. But if you take this and try to run it in SAS University Edition, you're going to be encountered with an error. So I'm just going to click the uh, Run button here. And SAS will recognize this as it does not exist, even though the folder is there, and it, I mean it certainly is. But the way this command is set up is you have to do it a little bit differently, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Alright, the first thing you need to do is find your VMware player icon and run it as an administrator. So right click on it, go to run as administrator, click yes, and you are met with this window. Presumably you have it installed already, otherwise you wouldn't have encountered the error. But just click here, and you have to define uh, your shared folder first. So click on edit virtual machine settings, and then click on options, shared folders. If it is disabled, you want to click always enabled and you want to add the folder that you want to use so host path mine like I said before is on my G drive so we'll expand that SAS University Edition and my folders that's where everything's stored finish click OK and now you should be good to go so go ahead and click on play virtual machine and load your player in uh, your preferred web browser. Alright, now that you've set up your shared folder where your files are going to be saved and your library is defined, you can try and do this again. So, start with your lib name statement. Name your libref, whatever you want, the name of your library. Again, I'll use tutorial. And now, instead of defining precisely on your hard drive or thumb drive, wherever it's physically located, you want to define no matter what your folders are named this you want to use the front slash type in folders slash my folders and close it out just like you typically would the reason you're doing this is because whatever operating system you're using is communicating with the virtual machine to communicate with the Linux SAS studio to control prompts and commands and things like that. I mean, the Windows system can't communicate with the SAS server without going through the virtual machine. So Windows is telling the virtual machine where it's located and then the virtual machine is passing it on to SAS. Same thing back and forth. So no matter what you name your f file folders, you need to use this command and once you've already set up your shared folder to say where it is, it's, it's always going to be able to read from here. So you'll see once you run this, you'll have your library created, and uh, the libref was successfully assigned, and then you're good to go. So if you have to upload or load any type of programs, you'd be able to read them over here on the left. And that's all you have to do.